Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to art class. Today's lesson is inspired by the artist Robert Indiana in his Love Sculpture. We are going to try to spread some positive vibes by using positive words in our art. So today I have a page of positive words that you can choose from. If there's a word you would like to use that's not on this list, well, of course, you can do that. If you're not sure how to read these words, that's okay. Just choose the word L-O-V-E, love. It's this very first one right here, just like the artist Robert Indiana. So for this lesson, we're going to need paper. If you are at school, our piece of paper will be a square shape. If you're at home, your paper is probably a rectangle. So you can leave it as a rectangle or you could try to cut it and make it into a square. You also need some letters to trace. So I have put these in Schoology. Ask your parents before you print out the alphabet because it's a lot of paper and a lot of ink. If your parents don't want you to use that much paper and ink, well, I put this in Schoology that you could use instead. It just says L-O-V-E, love. So you could print that out and just use that for your lesson if you are at home. All right, so to get started, we need to fold our piece of paper into four equal parts, four quadrants. So bring the top to the bottom and match up the corners and give it a crease. Flip your thumb over and use your thumbnail to give it a sharp crease. If the corners don't match up, that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Open your paper up and then fold one side over to the other and do the same thing. Rub it with the back of your thumbnail to give it a sharp crease. Now I've got my four quadrants or my four quarters or my four parts. I think I'm gonna try the word nice, N-I-C-E for my example. So I want to look through the alphabet and find the letter N first. What you're going to do today is a little bit of tracing. So I'm gonna place my paper underneath my final copy and just use a pencil to trace those letters. Now, if you want to change the way the letters look, of course you can. If you'd like to draw your own style of letter, well, of course you can do that as well. And if you'd like to use the tra tracer, the, they are there for you to do that. So here I am tracing N, I, then I'll go ahead and do the C and the E. So, of course, the next step when everything has been drawn out, when you have your four letters, you're just going to trace and erase. Trace every pencil line and then erase all of the lines that are still showing. So, next I'm going to use my color wheel. Again, that thing is so handy. We're going to use watercolor paint if you're at home. Kids at school, you're going to be using the liquid watercolor paint. Now, if your parents don't like you using the watercolor paint and it is not allowed, that's okay. You can do this whole lesson just using markers and crayons. I am pointing to the warm colors, the red, orange, and yellow. I am going to use the warm colors on the first letter and the fourth letter. And then I'll use the cool colors on the second and third letter. That way, my warms and cools will be in opposite corners. So, let's just do a little review. When we use the liquid watercolor paint, we always wanna wipe the brush on the side of the paint cup so that you're not dripping and splattering paint everywhere. So always wipe it on the side of the cup first. Try your very best to remember to always do a good job of rinsing out your paint brush. If you don't rinse out your brush, then the colors get all dirty and all mixed up. Nobody wants that. So please be polite and think about others and do a good job of rinsing out your brush so that everyone can have clean paint to work with. So I'm using, again, red, orange, and yellow, and you can paint the first letter and the fourth letter in any way that you would like.
So then, of course, I would use the cool colors. I would like for you to use the cool colors, blue, green, and purple, to paint in any way that you would like on the second letter and the third letter. So for today, this is where we are stopping. When you come to art next time, we will work on the background. Next time, that's when we will worry about taking a photo, submitting it, and getting a grade. Thanks so much. Have an amazing day.